Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Summertime Rendering. This anime became one of the most talked about anime series when it was airing, and at the same time, an anime series that many people couldn't even watch. Disney owned the rights to this anime series, and they refused to show it on a weekly basis. I had to wait months after this anime finished airing before I could watch it on a streaming platform. I was excited to see if this anime series lived up to hype it got. In this anime, the protagonist Shinpei returns to his home island after finding out his childhood friend Ushio passed away after trying to save someone from drowning. However, Shinpei learns there are mysterious bruises around Ushio's neck, which makes Shinpei question what was the true cause behind Ushio's death. As he investigates the cause of her death, one shocking event occurs and completely changes Shinpei's life. So I was skeptical at first. Many people were hyping this anime up and said it was one of the greatest things ever. Surely it can't be that great. But as I watched the early episodes, I finally understood the hype and couldn't stop watching. It was that intense and entertaining to watch. This anime starts off with Higurashi vibe, lots of mysterious events, and it can feel like something scary and messed up is about to occur. But when that shocking event occurs, all I can think about is this anime series is very similar to an anime series that is very popular and exciting to watch. That anime is an anime series that I enjoy a lot. Now I can't say the name of it because then the plot twist will be spoiled. But once you see a plot twist, it will make you keep watching. I don't like when one anime series is too similar to another anime series. But what this anime series did is that it took the plot twist of a certain show and made that plot twist feel more intense and have more at stake. Even though the plot twists are similar, the plot twist in summertime rendering is more complex gives a clear reason behind the plot twist, and it's just more exciting overall. The protagonist is truly in danger. He has not had much plot armor at all. A great thing about this anime series is that it doesn't let things become repetitive. It constantly changes the rules of how this anime series is structured. It makes it sound reasonable. There was one moment though that didn't make much sense, and it seemed like the events only occur for the sake of a shocking plot twist. I won't spoil it, but you'll know what I mean when you see it. It was a great shocking plot twist, but it didn't make sense at all. There are plenty of things besides the plot twist that will keep your interest in the anime series. There are constant new mysteries being discovered throughout the series that are intriguing and changes how you view the anime series. The anime doesn't wait to the end to tell you secrets to mysteries, like some shows do. Instead, this anime series will give the answers early on, but it will make you feel a bit confused and want to learn more. Even if you think you know everything from watching the early episodes, you truly don't because those answers don't give the entire picture of what's going on at the island. The intense mind game between Shinpei and certain characters are so exciting to watch, as they both try to outsmart each other and truly feels like an even battle. One of the things I hate is when anime series introduces an overpowered villain that is too smart and too strong, but then the protagonist defeats them at the end with the power of friendship or with the power of feelings. This anime didn't do that. Even though the villains seem strong, they were not all powerful. They got outsmarted by Shinpei multiple times, and you hear a lot of their concerns. It makes them feel actually likable because they're not boring, overpowered characters. I really like the back and forth and the strategies being made as they try to get an advantage over one another. The pacing for this anime series was well done. It didn't feel rushed at all. Everything sounded reasonable and easy to follow. The ending was an exciting confrontation between Shinpei and the true antagonist. Every moment of that confrontation was exciting to watch. One wrong move, and Shinpei could have easily died. The cast of characters were great to watch in this anime series. Shinpei was a smart and likable character, but at the same time, he had his moments where he felt weak and uncertain on what to do next. I really like this because it makes him out to be a strong character, but not too overpowered. I can't talk about one certain character in this anime series because that would be another major spoiler. One other character I can't talk about is So. He was such a great character because he's the best kind of friend you could have. He always has Shinpei's back and believes everything Shinpei tells him, even if it sounds ridiculous. Mio was alright's character. She was very supportive of Shinpei and was really helpful. Hizuru was another great character. She had a complex situation regarding personality that was fascinating to watch. She was smart, strong, and always calm, 
even when facing death. By far, she was the most helpful character in the show. Shinpei definitely needed her help. There are multiple villains in this anime series, and what I like about them was how creepy and scary they can be at times, yet at the same time, have this plain relaxed side to them. They have so much charisma as villains. The opening songs and ending songs for this anime series were alright. The music throughout this anime series certainly did its job with making certain scenes feel more emotional and impactful. The animation style looked good for this anime series, and the animation looked really great, especially when animating the creepy scenes throughout the series. This anime series is a must watch. Every moment will leave you on the edge of your seat. You can't wait to see what happens next. I give this anime series a 9 out of 10. So that's all I'm going to talk about for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And please comment if you find anything interesting in the video.